hi friends hope you are doing great today we are going to see the demo working with firewalls so firewall rules in google cloud when we create a vpc firewall rule we specify a vpc network and set of components that define what the rule does the components enable us to target certain types of traffic based on the traffic's protocol destination ports sources and destinations now in this demo we are going to create a firewall rules second we are going to update firewall rules third we are going to viewing the firewall rule details then finally we are going to delete the firewall rules so here i have given the document you can refer the document so let's go to the demo i'm going to the google cloud page okay so first what we are going to do means we are going to create the vpc network just go to the navigation menu and uh, go to the networking part so here we have the networking part so just select the vpc network just select the vpc network and here we have to click create vpc network so just click create vpc network then we need to fill the form so we are going to create a new vpc network so now i am giving demo vpc and same i am copying here also and uh, subnets let us subnets let us create our own private cloud topology within google cloud so now i am giving subnet creation mode as custom and now what we are going to do means we are going to create uh, subnets actually i am going to create three subnets first one is web server subnet second one is database serv database subnet and third service subnet we are going to create three subnets so first i am going to web server subnet i am going to create web server so let me put the description same and region i am selecting us eastone as per our requirement we can select whatever it could be so just we need to give the ip range so i am giving like this oh, two slash four and uh, yes that's it and i am going to add one more subnet before that just click done and uh, again we need to add one more subnet so now i am giving db database so region i am selecting the same region us east one okay now i am giving the ip addresses 10.0.10.0.1.0/24 then click done and uh, i am going to add one more subnet so I am giving like a service name region as US East 1 and I am giving the IP range now 10.0. Now I am giving as 2.0 slash 24. Yes, we have successfully created i mean updated the three subnets now what i am going to do means i am going to create this network so just click this create so here dynamic route we need to click regional only so create network demo hyphen vpc we have created demo hyphen vpc you can uh, see it friends here it is creating right now next step what we are going to do means we are going to create the vm okay now what I'm, we are going to do means we are going to create the virtual machines three virtual machines we are going to create first one is a web server vm and uh, second one is uh, database and third one is app service so it is successfully created the network demo hyphen vpc you can just scroll down and you can see that successfully we have created okay database service web server and all are on eos eastern only so you can see that uh, IP range also 10.0.0 so 10.0.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0
टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डॉट जीरो टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट टू डॉट जीरो ओके फाइन नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू दैट नाविगेशन जस्ट गो टू दैट कंप्यूट इंजिन पार्ट सो लेट मी ओपन इन न्यू टैब नाउ वाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द वर्चुअल मिशन थ्री वर्चुअल मिशन लेट मी चेक माई मेल ऐ डी ओके फाइन सो जस्ट गो टू दैट वी एम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक क्रिएट इंस्टेंस सो आई एम गिविंग द नेम एस वेब सर्वर इट इज टेकिंग टाइम लेट्स वेट फॉर इट फ्रेंड्स यस नाउ आई एम गिविंग लाइक वेब सर्वर वेब सर्वर एंड हियर we need to select the usc stone and you can select zone as usc stone let it be and uh, next we need to go to that uh, networking under the management we have okay so under the management he just click it here and go to the networking and here we need to give the tags so i am giving like web server next i am going to click this network interfaces just click it here and uh, i am going to select de demo vpc we need to select the network as demo vpc and sub network i am selecting as web server and uh, we can select the standard then click done now we have successfully updated this network interfaces and click create right now so the instance web server instance is creating right now likewise we need to create two more instance so second instance we are going to create da database instance so same thing only we need to do so just go to the create instance and uh, here we need to give the name as database database and uh, let me copy this and here also uc stone we need to select uc stone and uh, let it be zone then we need to go to that uh, networking and uh, here go to the networking part and here network tax i am giving the same name and here also just click it here and here we need to select the demo vpc and here yeah that one is correct only then just click standard done and create now we have successfully created the created the second instance also let me create one more instance so this is service so same thing only we are doing again and again service and here we need to select the us east one and go to that uh, uh, let they forgot anything yeah let me check it here and go to the networking part go to the networking and here network tag as service so then just click the default and here select our vpc and here we need to select the sub network and just click done and create right now so we have created three instance successfully friends next we are going to create the firewall rules so next step which we are going to do so i am going to open the firewalls so go to that uh, home page and go to the firewall rules under the networking only it will come so here we have firewall just click the firewall now we are going to create the firewall rules so if you are seeing already default uh, it is showing it is allow ssh it is allow rdp and it is allow internal and it allows icmp it is default it will come friends so icmp it is for ping purpose okay next what we are we are going to do means we are going to create a firewall rule just click the create firewall rule and we need to fill this firewall rules control incoming or outgoing traffic to an instance by default incoming traffic from outside our network is blocked okay so then we need to give the name so i am giving as demo hyphen fw1 okay so this is for demo purpose i am giving the name as th like this and uh, description i am giving and uh, logs i am not going to do anything 
then default i mean network we need to select the network here so network i am selecting as demo vpc next we need to give the priority let it be thousand so priority if we can specify the order that a rule will be applied within a network rules with lower numbers get prioritized first default is thousand so okay so if you are putting number minimum number then priority is higher than higher so like that uh, concept next is direction to traffic we need to select ingress and uh, direction to traffic ingress applies to incoming traffic egress applies to outbound traffic okay then next we need to select act action on match when the traffic matches our parameters we can allow or deny the traffic so now i am giving allow next we need to select the targets so i am giving the targets as uh, so target it means firewall rule applies only to these instances within the fire virtual network just select this target as all instances in the network so then source filter we need to select ip ranges and here we need to select the source ip ranges i need to give so i am giving as 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 so it uh, it will access anywhere like that i have given and uh, next we need to give the protocols and ports we need to specify we need to select the specified protocols and ports and now we need to give the ports tcp i am selecting and uh, here also i am selecting so tcp i need 22 port number and uh, comma i am giving 80 and uh, port number double three zero six and here in other protocol i am giving icmp for ping purpose so we have successfully done that and now we are going to create this firewall rules so creating the firewall rule we have successfully done done it friends so you can just check it here creating the firewall rule successfully created the firewall rule demo hyphen fw1 so we have successfully created okay now what i am going to do means i am going to in vm page so here i am going to in a, i am going to log in this ssh in the database uh, machine so now we are going to i am going to ping some other uh, machine whether it is connecting or not like that we are going to ping that one so now we are into the database i'm sorry now we are into the database so now we are going to connect some other device just click ping here and uh, i am giving like a service service so we have pinged here just control c so you can see friends zero percentage packet loss likewise i can ping web server also one more device we have right now we are into the database see here we are into the database machine now i am pinging the web server machine definitely we can it will reach the device will be reached so just we can see zero percentage packet loss right fine next what i am going to do means okay next what we are going to do next step we need to update uh, the firewall rules then we will see the changes okay okay fine just exit from this okay now we are going to create one more firewall rule just go to that firewall rules here just click create firewall rules one more firewall rule we are going to create after that we are going to ping that one okay just click here uh, we need to give the name so i am giving the name as demo hyphen fw2 okay so just copy and paste it here and same only so here also default vpc demo vpc here i am giving the pro priority as 900 and uh, you can see so here we need to give deny so here we need to click deny and uh, next one is then next we need to give the source ip range so source ip range okay specified targets specified targets no need to touch anything and uh, next one is yeah i am giving the name tag name database 
right database and the IP ranges I am selecting the same IP range and here we need to select the blocked IP range so which one we need to block source IP so I am selecting as 10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.